Hey there. Oh my gosh. Are you working on your level two or level three vault? Great job for getting that far. I'm gonna show you the level two and level three vault. Level two is just a little lower and the level three is a little higher, but they're both the same deductions. So if you make the same mistakes in both, it'll be the same amount off. So yeah, I'll show you the level two one first right now. So the first thing is your run. So the judges don't want to see you slow down like this. They don't want to see you go and then. Okay, so continue powering through that run until you hit the ball. And a great way to practice is just practice your sprints. Maybe put some ankle weights on your ankles. And remember, try not to run on flat feet and really swing those arms. And time yourself, try and beat yourself each time. The fat, more, faster you swing your arms, the faster you're gonna go. Next phase, entering the board. So as you go onto the board, um, you never wanna be too close like this, obviously. You wanna be back here. You can put like a mat or something to go over. So as you go on, think about keeping your chest up. And your arms are gonna circle back. Okay, so when you hit the board, you want to try and keep this nice and tall because they'll take points off if you go like that. So nice and tall, arms back, chest up, head straight. Then you're going to give me a nice tight punch. As you punch, you got to really squeeze everything. Keep your ankles nice and tight. And your arms are going to go from here. They're going to reach to right about here. Because I noticed some girls will reach too close to the mat and then it makes it really hard. And as you're going to the mat, think of your arms going to your ears as your feet are driving over your head. So you're turning into a human. What is this? So you want to keep your body super straight. So as your hands are reaching, your feet are going up and you're focusing on your hands. Your ribs are in and as your hands get here, as they hit, your feet are gonna hit the top into a vertical line. So that's what the judges are looking for. They wanna see you hit this vertical controlisis. And make sure you're really looking at those hands. You don't wanna duck your head right away like this. You see I ducked and then I ended up rolling, which is also another L deduction. So you wanna fall totally straight, arms by your ears, and see this open sesame. You wanna keep those armpits open the whole time. Because if they see your arms drop like that, I'll show you an example. Ooh, it's scary. Uh -oh. oh boy. So see how it made me piked? And I was kind of leading with my butt instead of my heels. So you want, they want to see a straight line. Be beautiful and straight. And as you're falling, of course, point your toes. Squeeze those legs together. And you don't want to do the old archeroo, like this. Whoa, that was crazy. So really keep that body uh, nice and straight. And a lot of kids will go too high onto the mat. So think about after your arms circle their back. This is a good drill I like to do. You just go here with your arms back. And as I reach, I lift my heel up, so that because that's what you need to really do in the real 
situation. So start with your arms back. As I lift my foot up, as I step, I reach and I lift this heel up, looking at my hands, getting those armpits open. Another deduction is actually reaching too far. You want to reach out to right about here, but you don't want to fly past the line. If you pass vertical and then your hands hit, that's a deduction too. Or if you like totally just forget about your hands, like, hey, what happened? Like this. And then you can get off. And don't forget your salute. Okay. And to warm up, just practice some punches. Maybe about this far. Keeping your chest nice and tall. You see? Nice and tight on the board. Oh, one more thing I forgot. If your hands, if you go to reach and they reach to the side, that's another thing they don't want to see. Or, if you're going and your hands go bump bump, that's another deduction. So make sure those hands touch at the same time and they're not like, like you know, like that. Shoulder width apart, side by side, on the line. There's not a line here, but it would be right about here. And another thing I like to do is just punch tight, 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 tight. So you can get that feel of, you know, punching on that board. And of course, you can just sit here, go circle, nice big reach into your handstand, into a nice vertical position. Make sure you have a nice solid handstand reaching. You see I drove that back leg over my head, because then you get the nice feel of it. And then you can kick up to a handstand up on the mat. As long as you don't fall off, make sure it's, you know, something's behind it. And, whoops. and you can practice. See how tight I am? Just do a bunch of those. Looking for my hands, my arms are by my ears. Piece of cake. Now we'll go ahead and add a mat so it's a little higher. For level three, it's basically the same thing. You just gotta put a little extra oomph in your wheels, in your trunk, in your body. You gotta charge a little harder. You gotta punch a little harder. You gotta drive those heels up slightly more. Okay, check it out. And remember not to land sitting up. That's another deduction. I know it's so many things to think about, Ugh. but just think of yourself getting so much smarter and stronger at the same time. And remember not to bend your arms. As you hit, push your shoulders like someone's pulling them out like that. Okay. And here's your end of the video trick. Good luck with your vaulting, you can do it. Just keep practicing away and it'll happen and do your strength. The more strength, the better. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and download my app if you wanna find all my videos. And this is National Gymnastics Training Center. Isn't it great? In Aliso Viejo, California. Sayonara.